Slumberland is a movie about dreams starring Jason Momoa from Stargate Atlantis. And this is my review. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Before we get into this video, I would like to announce a new project from Sidetrack, 9chevrons.com. 9chevrons.com is your dedicated source for Stargate news, which will aim to complement this YouTube channel with news that we have from our contacts at MGM and Amazon, breaking news about a new potential Stargate series, as well as providing reviews and any potential updates to news stories. Now, I've been seeing trailers for this movie for quite some time, and I really wanted to watch it because Jason Momoa is in it, and I really, really, really like Jason Momoa. Not just because he's a previous cast member of Stargate, but I genuinely think he's a fantastic actor. But the trailer dropped for Slumberland, and it is a movie which is, well, I think it's fair to say, it's geared towards kids. And being a parent myself, I took the opportunity to sit down with my kids, put the movie on, and we watched it together. And oh my god, the movie is amazing. Now, I'm not one for watching movies that often. If you've ever seen me in a live show, every time Jay or Stormy or Harris mentions a movie, the chances are I've probably not seen it because I'm just not the kind of person to sit down and watch a movie. I will happily sit there and binge Stargate all day long. I'll watch Doctor Who. I've watched Dexter and Breaking Bad so many times. Like TV series, I can binge, but I just never sit down and watch a movie. But this was an exception. I went into this thinking that it's going to be a kid's movie, so my expectations aren't going to be extremely high for it. The kids are probably going to enjoy it, but but I personally will probably just think it's okay. And the main thing will just have been spending time with my kids. But oh my God, even if you don't have children and you typically don't like watching children's movies, you have to watch this film. It is so good. I'm going to give you a brief synopsis of what the movie is about, but I'm not going to give you any spoilers. The movie follows a young girl named Nemo, who we're introduced to at the beginning of the film, living with her dad in a lighthouse. Within the opening act of the film, uh, her father goes out on a boat because he has to go do lighthouse duties, and unfortunately, he dies. She is then sent to live with her uncle in the city, which is a massive change for her. She's never been to school, and she's always lived on that little island with the lighthouse, so going to a big city with a school, it was a massive adjustment for her. However, she was able to visit her previous home via the dreamland. Every night when she went to sleep, she was able to go to sleep and go back to her childhood home. And it's there that she meets the character known as Flip, played by Jason Momoa. Now, her father had been telling her bedtime stories ever since she was a little girl. Stories of adventure and heroism involving him and his outlaw partner, Flip. Now, when she enters the dreamland and she's visiting her childhood home, she encounters this character known as Flip, who is looking for a map. The map is supposed to lead to the Sea of Nightmares, a place where you're not supposed to go when you're dreaming. It's where all the nightmares come from. It's full of, it's full of dead mythical creatures. And it's a place of despair. But in the Sea of Nightmares, there are these orbs that if you were to obtain one of them, you can make a wish. And whatever you wish for will appear in your dreams. The story follows Nemo and Flip basically going on an adventure to try and recover some of these orbs in an attempt for her to be able to see her dad once again in the dreamland. But something we also discover is Flip is in the dreamland and he's forgotten who he was in the real world. He never woke up. So Flip, being a very selfish character, is only going to the Sea of Nightmares so he can figure out who he is. I'm not going to tell you anything else other than that. You have to watch the movie to find out what happens, but it is such a good movie. Honestly, the big reveal in the film, I kind of guessed it anyway, but that's just because I'm an adult. And the film isn't catered to me, it's catered towards children. So I wasn't upset that I had guessed the massive twist in the film. But honestly, it is such a fun film to watch. It's a film that will make you laugh, it will probably make you cry. And Jason Momoa in it is fantastic. He's more of a silly character. He's not really that serious. He is a very characterized version of this outlaw. But honestly, it's fantastic. And I really, really, really urge you to go and watch it. Because as an adult, watching that film with my kids, it was amazing. My kids loved it. I loved it. My partner loved it. And this is going from two people who generally don't watch films that, that much. 
but let me know. Have you seen Slumberland and what did you think of it if you have? Remember, don't leave any spoilers in the comments because there are people who haven't seen it yet. And I really hope all you sidetrackers have had a fantastic Christmas and a really good new year. Welcome to 2023. Sidetrack is going to be amazing over the next 12 months. And some of the news that is going to come out is going to be fantastic. I really can't wait to share some of it with you. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification so you don't miss a single video. Also, whilst you're down there, consider becoming a fully fledged side tracker. Hit the join button down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.